Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back. Jamie here today with Dylan. AW Collision, episode 2, June the 24th, 2023. 24 hours from Forbidden Door, but we're not real bothered about that. We're here to talk about Collision. And the ratings for last week as well, because they went up for the main event, but we'll get to that in a bit. But second episode, we're getting to our thoughts for last week's, which is pretty good. It's off to a good start, really, isn't it, Collision? I absolutely loved it, not just for Punk. I think it was, yeah, not uh... just for Punk, yeah. I mean, you were both, you mentioned it really at the start. It's like, they seem to be on these refs. Oh, yeah, 100%. You can tell. I mean, it just felt like a different show, not just because he announces either, but the refs, like you said, as well, the wrestling all around, really. Let's yeah, the, the, one of the refs was really good. I don't remember. It's the one that you guys kept mentioning. But the other one was kind of, you know. Yeah, but didn't he even have the, uh, the zombie ref? They had him, the Young Bucks ref, didn't he? No, the he ref, I mean, I mean the announcer. Oh, the announcer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nigel McGuinness is great, but the other yeah. guy, I mean, he's not the worst ever. He's better than some raw commentators, it, it, I'll say that. What I find really annoying is they're getting rid of Dark and Elevation and that, clearly. And what are you going to do with Paul White? You, you might as well put him on there as well. You might as well put three guys. made Paul White like uh, what Mark Henry does on Dan Page. Where Paul oh, White's I'd like, hate that. Made of it. <laughs> I'd hate that. I'd hate that because it makes no sense. I'd, I'd rather... I'd like, Mark, I'd like to see Mark Henry on commentary. True. I think they should rotate him out, shouldn't they? Or like, you know, pay-per-views or whatever, have him on for that. Yeah, I really hope... Oh, they, they need to retire JR. Oh, yeah, we'll get to that, because they brought him out for the last... It was the last match, wasn't it? It wasn't the last hour, it was just the last match, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that. Match. That was so bad. But yeah, tonight we've got a full card, even though it's Forbidden Door tomorrow, which is surprising, but it's looking like a pretty good no show. No one's going to watch Forbidden Door, but those fucking... Yeah, just the hardcore Louis audience, is... really. No, the, the, the fucking New Japan who probably got to watch it the next day, so the ring's going to shit anyway. Well, Tony's trying to promote it as something's going to happen to lead into All In, but... I don't know what that could be. That could be anything, really. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean, like, you know, a debut or anything yeah. like that. But anyway, tonight's matches we'll get into when we got Andrade versus Brody King. It seems like Andrade's sort of going to face, which we'll talk about in a bit, but he's got the feudal house of black, hasn't he? So he's facing Brody King. Yeah. I, my, I, my theory is is that we're go it's going to start leading into this idea that um, what, what, what was this group called? The Faction? Not the Faction, was it? Uh... I forgot the name now, but it's like him, Preston Vance, Vance Roosh, uh, and uh, Tose and the manager it. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I think the idea is that maybe they've kicked him out because he's not strong enough. You know, the idea is like he's weak, you know, you can't join unless you're strong kind of thing. So I like the Blackpool Combat Club, but not as stupid. <laughs> and like, this maybe, is this yeah. is Andr like, and Andrade's trying to like prove himself and it's going to hopefully like prove beating House of Black. But I don't know. Like, I don't think, you I think you could turn and Andrade face. Yeah, I think that. you could. Yeah, you know, I, I, I think he's, he's, um, I think he's much better as a singles guy than you know, like a faction leading a group. Yeah, I agree with that because this whole time in AW has really just been in a group, hasn't it? Really, I think. Yeah, well, he's been trying to gather a group. And he's taken over like he did all that with the Hardy Foundation, took over the Hardy family, and shit like that. But I feel like oh shit, yeah. Okay, I feel no. like this is a lot better. You know, as long as you keep him away from Sammy and don't tell him that I won't fight, you won't fight him. Yeah, <laughs> don't give him permission. Book. Unless he says, I'm going to hit the Young Bucks and, and, and Tony goes, I'm still not going to fire you. Then you just take CM Punk with you. Just go down there. Stay I'm still, still Brody punk. King has to win, doesn't it? Because Andrade won last week, which we'll talk about in a bit. He can't beat the whole House of Black by himself, can he? Because then, you know, what's the point? He's going to have to lose, isn't he, I guess. Or maybe it's like a DQ finish or something. I don't know. Yeah, but then who's he going to, who's going to be backing him up if he's not? But well, the acclaimed, I'd assume, would, would, would interfere at some point. Yeah, the acclaimed. And that, obviously, if Andrade's team would the acclaimed, that turns him face pretty much automatically, doesn't it, in a way? Yeah, but it's four, it's, it's four on three. Unless unless Billy, oh, wait, no, unless they don't do... Unless it's like a normal tag next week on Collision, yeah. but it ends up the acclaimed going after the trios. But Billy Gunn sits out the tag, and it's Andrade and the acclaimed trios action against yeah. House of Black. Not for the belt, later. just just to beat Yeah, them, not for the belt, yeah. We then can lead into the belt later on, realistically. Yo, Alex, welcome to the stream. What is Dylan hating on now? We're not hating on anyone. Yeah, I hate we'll get to it, worry. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a hater. Hate is gonna we're hate. enjoying it so far, but we'll probably get to the hate soon. I mean, I got some hate to talk about. I think Sin Cara's joining AW. Which one? There's like six of them. Yeah, which one? The original one? The second one? Like, which one? <laughs> you know, the one who... The one who wasn't the one? But I'm going to go with Brody King to win this match, I think. I don't know. I think... I Actually, I'm probably guess. Yeah, depends. I don't, I think it might end in like 
some shenanigan like you know DQ on Owen to build into yeah, that. Yeah, it could do. Yeah, I was going off because, like I said, Andrade beat Buddy Matthews last week, didn't I? And if he wins again tonight, all he needs to do is beat Malika, and he's beat the whole trio then, hasn't he, really? <laughs> yeah. But maybe you're right, well, it'll be I some would, sort of you know, I, don't know, I, would, I would say, I would say, but who thinks, like, out of the House of Black, who's the real sort of, like, the bad guy, the, 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 the one that's strongest one, or the, the, the best, like, I'm thinking Brody King's really the, the big one, like, Malika's size, good, yeah. yeah. Malika's, like, good on the mic, and he's really intelligent in the ring, but, like, Malika, Brody King, he's also really good on the mic, He's intimidating to look at. He's really good in the ring. Mm. You know, he's got all these things. It's, it's, it's one of those, like, Bloody Matthews has the look. But he's not really got the character or promo. Really character, really. Yeah. So well, I mean, they are a good group. Like, they have strength and weaknesses, but... Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go Brody King. But it'll probably be some sort of shenanigans. But yeah. moving on from there, we got Darby Allen and Sting. They're going to announce the tag team partner for tomorrow. I had to put this on here because it's, you know, predictions. But I mean, we don't watch for New Japan, so it could be anybody. I don't know who the hell it could be. Yeah, but... I would... we'll talk about Dynamite next week. But I really love this segment last <laughs> Wednesday. We had, I'm guessing we had a moment, going... JV. We had a moment. <laughs> we had a moment. I'm they're going against some... Jericho, aren't they? So I'm yeah. guessing it'll be someone from Jericho's past. That's my guess, really. Yeah. I don't know who it would be, you know. Probably for yeah. some WCW. Not much to say about that, so we'll move on to the next thing. We've got Swerve versus Tanahashi. I think this is our second time seeing Tanahashi. We watched when didn't he face Moxley last year? We watched that, didn't we? Yeah. Because he originally was supposed to face Punk when and Punk got injured, and then it was Moxley versus... So this is our second match of Tanahashi, I guess. Yeah. And I'm a fan of Swerve. I just don't, I mean, neither one of us like the mask that he wears, but apart from that, Swerve, I think he's good. Yeah. I. He says, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I well, think gonna he's going to win. Yeah, obviously. And then, like, the Swerve's group's going to come out. So who's going to back out to Nashi? Like, um, wasn't United Empire? Fe- nah, I mean. Or some form of the, like, wasn't Tanashi about one of the gun clubs or whatever? Or am I just, am I just making I'm that up? I'm not sure. I mean, because. Where's I read about. I read about what happened on Rampage and Adam Cole and MJF are going to be tag team partners, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> and isn't uh, MJF facing Tanahashi tomorrow? So maybe, it, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. What they could do. I don't think he's going to, I don't think MJF is going to show, oh no, he did say he was. I, sh- I shouldn't do. I think it should have been Punk. Yeah, I know that Punk's got a Cole. match. I know Punk's got a match at Dynamo. Um, I think the Punk's the first match on for Benador as well. Yeah. Because you know, you know what they're going to do. Punk's going to go in there first and he's probably going to leave and then Young Bucks will have the match later on and, you know, they'll keep them separate. Yeah, then we'll notice the ratings how they're really high and then they start getting down and, it's like, look, <laughs> and then, like, the Young Bucks match is going to go really low. True. The Bushi's debuting at Fumina Door. Yeah, I thought Bushi would be joining, like, the Elite or whatever because isn't he friends with... But yeah, Tanahashi's going to win this, like we said, no doubt, because he's facing MJF tomorrow, so... Yeah. No doubt about that. But there, we got again, Nyla. like, who's gonna, like, who's back up? Because you know that, like, Swerve's gonna have, like, his boys back up. Like, oh, it'd be Keith Lee and someone, won't it? Keith Lee will come out with whoever he's good. Yeah, maybe, because they still haven't done that Keith Lee Swerve one on one match yet, have they? Why it's taking them this long to do, I don't know. Are they, are they waiting for it all in? I hope not, because that don't even seem like a worthy. It just seems like a TV match at this point. It's like, yeah, you know. but it'd be nice to see fucking Keith Lee come on live. Oh, yeah, it would be. I'm sure we Bro. will, because, you know. We know the pay per view is going to be like four hours long, isn't it? So he's going to, you know. Oh, Swerve versus Tanahashi is going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. Like we said, we've not seen much of Tanahashi, but Swerve is good. So I'm expecting yeah. it to be a good match. Next match, we've got Nyla Rose versus Willow and the Owen Hart Women's Tournament. They're doing the tournament again. And unfortunately, I want Nyla Rose to win, but I don't think she's going to win. So. <laughs> oh, no. Does anyone care about Willow? Like, No, I don't, oh. but. She had a match last she had a match oh, this week and I don't remember it and I literally just watched it a few hours ago. I do not remember it. Like not just because of Tony Storm, but because of her, I just I don't remember it. Nia Jax, oh my god. I don't think Nia Jax is coming to AW. I think we've got to let that one go, Alex. No, but... she's not because A, she's like some old like most with, girls. You know, yeah, she's like related to, to the Rock and Rome and all that. They're all deeply tied in with WWE. She True. and she came back with WWE for Raw Rumble, so I don't think she's I don't think she's wrestling. I think she's she's she retired. I'm sure she did. I think she did. Yo, Austin, welcome to the stream. Nia Jax coming out, Jamie. I mean, if she was, I don't think she would come out tonight. But then again, who knows? But I don't know. 
Look, we want to get one woman's match. And we're not. Oh, my God. I mean, it's cool they're doing this own heart tournament, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to care about the winners because we know what happens. We saw last year Adam Cole and Britt Baker won, they got the Nothing. title, and then that was Nothing. it. Nothing happened ever again. So it's like, like why, you know. why make it titles? Why not just like an actual fucking, like, you know, a trophy or whatever? A trophy, or like you get a title shot if you win or something yeah. like that. I you don't know, know. Something, something worthy of like being, like, not just like, because they don't mention it. Like, they didn't mention it. They mentioned it for like, what, a week after they won? And that was it. That was it, I think. It didn't have like one segment and then that was it. The belts were Oh, was that around the time that Adam Cole got injured, though? It was a little bit after, one. It? it? was... Actually, I don't even know. Because he had a match at Forbidden Door, didn't he? And then the... I don't remember. It was around that time, yeah. yeah. So maybe because of his injury, they couldn't do anything like what they wanted to do. But still, they could have done something with Britt. She won as well, didn't she? Yeah, well, I think they wanted to do something with both of them. I'll do a mixed tag, I'm guessing. Maybe, yeah. I wish AW made women's tag titles. I don't know about that. I mean, even WWE are kind of struggling. They just had to unify the NXT one with the women's because there's not that many tag teams. So yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do tag team in AEW right now. Women, mm. not, yet. not not with the fact that you we got to get one women's match. Yeah, one per show. show. <laughs> that, that maybe that, that one, that's two because we we don't get really one on Rampage anymore. That's an hour show. So you yeah, might. Yeah. So you might get three if you're lucky at max. Maybe, maybe. Unless you just be like, oh, it's a tag team match, you know, just four women. There we go. And he just gives it doesn't us one. Count, it doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't count, but you never know. But yeah, who do you think? Nyla Rose or Willow? Who are you going with? Go with Nyla Rose. I hope she does, but I mean, Willow's New Japan champion as well, isn't she? So. Yeah, so she's got a match at Ro- Forbidden Door, hasn't she? Yeah, again, guess, guess who she's against. It's supposed to be Forbidden Door, isn't it? She's facing Tony oh. Storm. Is it, she, did she just have a match with Tony Storm? Yeah, but it was a tag team match. Now it's for the title tomorrow. They're both AEW wrestlers, though. But it's... I don't... I don't well, know. Mate, no, I, I, oh, let me just have a look. One sec. A lot of great women in the AEW division is not bad. No, they do no, have some talent. No, no. I'm, I'm remembering it wrong. Right, it was, it was Strickland and, and Ty that had that match this week. I'm, remember, I'm remembering the promo from this oh, week's Wednesday. Oh, right, yeah, the promo. I thought yeah, she had a yeah. match. I thought that promo was leading to a match. That's why, that's why I don't door. remember. It's supposed to be Forbidden Door, and it's AEW versus AEW, and it's like, okay. I mean, I know oh, she's no, New but Japan she, champion, she, she, but she's she, still... She, she, no, but she's New Japan champion, so that's the Yeah, point. but she's still an AEW wrestler, though. Yeah, but in their mind, she's still, like, she's also got the championship, so it's still... It's, it seems it's like a loophole to me, but... I, I see the logic. I reject it. And I substitute with one of my own called Tony Stupid. Can't say can't book. Because Nyla Rose loses, but next time she'll have Nia Jax with her. I, even if she came in, I don't think you should partner up with Nia, Nyla Rose. I keep them separate, separated. It's just, it's just not happening. Like, why do you. Yeah. I still see Nia Jax. I think she's. I'd done. take Mandy Rose over Nia Jax because you could do more with Mandy Rose than Nia Jax, but. Uh, no, I'm going with Nyla Rose. I think my and I, uh, in my opinion, I think Nyla Rose might win the entire tournament. The women's side. Maybe. I mean, I forgot the brackets, but I know Britt Baker's in it. And... I don't think Britt Baker's winning it a second time. Yeah. And Adam Cole's not in it, so it doesn't make any sense. No, Adam Cole's not in it. He's too busy in the other tournament. A lot of us got two tournaments going on at the same time. You can't help them. Well, three. Three. Well, the women's, the men's, and then the. Oh shit! Yeah, three. Yeah, fucking hell! You're right. <laughs> Because oh Punk's in the God. men's. Yeah, I Punk's in Punk, the men's. I think Punk's going to win that one. That's tomorrow, the first match. The yeah, so I think Punk's going to win. Yeah, he, he probably will. you mean will. tonight, isn't it? No, the Punk, I mean Forbidden Door, Punk's matches. Oh, is, oh yeah. That's oh, what oh, the Forbidden for... Door matches, the Owen Hart tournament. Which yeah, is, so you know. I think, I think Punk's winning and I'm, I'm, my money's on Nia, Nia Rose winning. If I Nia think Rose... the final of the men will be Punk versus Joe, I think. Because Joel's in it. No, because they're in the so. same car as the bracket, so they're going to be the semi Oh, shit. I don't, Which is so it. fucking stupid. That is stupid, that, yeah. One way but or another, Dylan really agree with me I'm that... sure you and the Dylan agree on a lot of stuff. It's just you haven't, you know, figured it out yet. But I'm sure you do agree on a lot of stuff. Can't agree all the time. So Can't agree all the time, but you can agree some of the time. Moving on to the next segment, whatever. We've got Christian Cage addressing the TNT title after what Luchasaurus won. I feel like he's oh. just going to take hold of the title now. Like, well, let's look at his screenshot. Think, he's going to be like, yeah, I, I, you know, yeah. I'm taking I it. Think it's mine he's gonna now. Be, he's going to be wearing it. But it's gonna, like, he's actually going to be wearing it. Like, but Luchasaurus defends, defends it for him or something. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's probably what we're going to do. Like when Roman comes out, but like he's got Raven holding one of the titles all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like it's. But I think it, it, it should have been done the most subtly, though. I think like Christian should have been the one carrying it. You know what I mean? And slowly, as like you see him wearing it, you see him doing stuff with it. You know what I mean? And you see him yeah. calling himself it, which could then lead up to the breakup between the two. True. You know, because could you could have it where like Warlow, I not Warlow, Soros loses the belt, and Christian goes off at him, and then choke slams him through something and won't. Uh, while, we're, while we're speaking about Wardle, like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, speaking about, I keep fucking saying it, my mistake. But yeah, it's a good segue, like, realistically. I don't get, like, what did he do wrong? Like, what just hot doing? potato with him. I don't know. Like, it's ridiculous. My only theory and hope is is that Ann Anderson has gone, right, let's clear the slate, let's lose the belt, let's start fresh, let's figure something else, let's go after the old man or something. Let's, let's make that belt mean something because this belt clearly means nothing. And if you beat Orange Cassidy, you beat the guy who hasn't lost it in what? Two, three months? Probably even depending. longer than that, yeah. You know what I mean? You guys have like a good 20, like what, tw- nearly 15, 14 win streak? But the thing is, if Wardlow beats Orange, would the crowd sh- turn on him? Because Orange is a favourite. And turn him heel. Turn him heel. Yeah, I guess. Shane Mayrock could help, actually. He's not been healed since the MJF the line you know what what mean? So. I, I, Was he here with MJF? He was just working for him. He was just working for him, yeah, but he was doing heelish you know I mean? actions, I, though. I, I could see Arn being like the guy to pull off heel stuff as his manager or sure. his trainer or whatever. I you see Lucian Cern in face tonight, Cage. Uh, Alex, that's definitely going to happen, but I don't think it's going to happen tonight. Because he's not just won the belt. I wouldn't turn him against Christian already. I'd no, you know, Christian's only just won the belt. Christian's only just won the belt, right? yeah, exactly. I think you get a few months out of the story. I don't think you should end it right now. I think you could, you know, play it well, out. Well, that's what I'm saying. You, should, you shouldn't just automatically have Christian holding the belt. He's like, all right, okay, that's clear. There's no build-up to that. You should have Christian slowly sort of making it seem like he has the belt. You know I mean? agree, yeah. And then that leads us to the main event for tonight. We've got CM Punk, FTR, and Ricky Starks versus Jay White, Juice Robinson, and the Guns 8 man tag team match. Wait, we've gone through everything that's happening tonight. Yeah, that's all the matches. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, no. There's two other things announced, but I don't have the card, so hold on. Yeah, it's, uh, is it Miro addressing? Yeah, Miro, we're going to hear from Miro. We even know what was it last week, we'll talk about it in a minute. He just beat Tony East, didn't it? So. Yeah, this is just something that I, let me just go on a bit like, yeah. Why do we need to hear from Miro? Just have him come out and have matches. True. Unless, and my hope is he comes out tonight and he lays out the challenge for Orange or whoever wins the belt tomorrow for the international no, championship. No, he needs to rack up wins. Don't just stick. You know, you got to make him a monster. You got to make him a monster. You got to make us know that he's still a monster. Have him come yeah, out. but if he's just squashing like Tony Neese and stuff, there's only so much you could do with that in there. To make an impact, if you just beat Orange yeah, Cassidy like build, that, then you've you know. Got, like, you've, this is what I really liked about the fucking ranking system and how they've lost it and they don't want to do it anymore. It's the idea that like, you have to have someone winning. So yeah, he's beating job guys, but he was racking up wins, he was doing it. True. I mean? Alex, so, Alex, I agree. I think it will be Cassidy versus Miro. I feel like that's where they're going with it. But Dylan does have a point as well. They should kind of build him up a little bit more. But no, We don't need to hear from him. Mostly because I don't like him. I don't want to hear him talk. <laughs> but just, you know... How do I see the hate with Miro, man? What's wrong with Miro? Not that I hate the guy, I don't hate anyone. That's a waste of energy. Just, right, just not for me. Not, not for me. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair you know enough. what I mean? It's like I like Orange Cassidy quite a lot. You like him, but you don't like him enough, you know what I mean? No, I don't like him the way he's pushed. Yeah. That's what I don't like. He's gonna call it Orange. Yeah, Alex, I agree, but we'll have to see tonight. And also we got Powerhouse Hobbs in action, so hopefully to start rehabbing Hobbs. But actually, you know while we're on this subject, I'm able to tell it now, because Rampage, obviously we don't watch it, but I read the spoilers because was you know, MGF was on there. And guess who's back in fucking AW? Johnny Morrison. Oh, Nitro. Johnny Morrison, Johnny C. Lee, Johnny. Yeah, yeah Johnny but his partners were fucking QT Marshall now. So he's a partner of QTV. You know what? I saw that on was it on Twitter or, or Facebook when he went, oh, Johnny, Johnny something, okay, Johnny Morrison. Like they went through all like the Johnny things he did. Yeah. He's back at AEW. I like. I thought he was already signed. I mean, hence he was called Johnny Elite. Like, yeah, I thought he got signed as well, and he just disappeared again. Yeah. Well, okay. So wait, he's with QT Marshall. Yeah, and Hobbs is still with him as well. So they've got like a little faction going now or something like that. How many know. factions does, does QT need? <laughs> How many men does he need? Like, uh, shit. why people still like it? It boggles my mind because it's it, it, who who has come from QT Marshall to like 
his factions or his group that have become this major thing. Like, who? Who? I can't name anyone. No one. So why do, why do people keep flocking to him? As if like, Maybe he's a great trainer backstage. You know what I mean? Maybe he's really good at helping him, you know, figure out their music ring or whatever. Maybe, yeah. But you don't, do you want to know who helped Big Hub's a real name? Fucking Taz! Yeah, Taz. Yeah. All right. And, and Johnny TV, is that his name now? Oh, oh yeah, it is, yeah. All right. So fucking Taz made Hobbs. And then Hobbs made the right move and, you know, broke up with, with him and broke up with Ricky Starks and started going solo. You know, could you build yourself up as part of this group? You made something like a monster. You made you give yourself a personality. You had, you had people backing you. You had, um, you had help. You had uh, information. You, you, had, you had guidance, mentoring. And then you went solo. And now you just join up with QT Marshall. Like, why would you allow that? I know. Like, maybe it's the only thing that you can do to keep, keep your TV time up. Well, I'm hoping this collision helps because clearly, you know, Punk and everyone else see potential in Hobbs. So hopefully to get him away from that. QT he has bullshit. potential, Hobbs. Hobbs is a fucking beast. Yeah, it's just the booking. Hobbs I mean, over Miro. People. No, I agree with that. I'd say, especially just because of the age as well. Hobbs isn't even 30 yet. So, you know, you've got plenty more of years. Is that like, you know, I didn't have to deal with, oh, I, I, I'm the best man and then I'm a video gamer. Oh, yeah, that was such a bad debut. I try and blank that out, the whole video game thing. I mean, I love video games, but the way they brought me to when we kept saving was just, oh, my God. <laughs> but, yeah, back to the main event for tonight. we got Punk, FTR, and Ricky Starks versus The Guns, Jay White, and Juice Robinson. We all know the result, but it's going to be a fun match. Yeah, we just, anyway. just... Like for the guns. Oh yeah, just, we'll yeah. talk about more about it on Wednesday. But the selling they did for that match on Dynamite, they so are good. so fucking good. I'm looking forward to this. Is this is my, this is this is my match I'm waiting for because this was great. True. This and is... Funk Fuck Ricky hasn't been forgotten about either. Oh, you seem like for a minute or two know there it was. Punk, Punk went. You come with like Punk's in the locker room. Went start you with me. I'm, I'm not letting you go. True. Definitely, because fucking hell, man, that was looking worrisome there for a bit. But Speaking of Ricky, man. like, did you hear that interview he did about the four pillars? Like, he's a stupid oh yeah, and he's like, it's cool that they're mentioning me and making me try like people mention me as one. It was like so stupid. I I agree. But he has I, a point in a way. Yeah, I was, I was thinking like about that. this earlier today. Like, four pillars idea is a good concept, but it was played way too fucking soon. True. Yeah, because the I, company's I, I, I only would, three years old. Yeah, or whatever, I would have said what like. Seven, ten years down the line, if these four guys were still there, you know, you, you pick the four guys who were like you are definitely getting and ten years later they're still there and like the big names. You could have eventually done that thing like, Oh, we're the four pillars of this company, you know. I mean, we've been around since the beginning, we've we all been world champs, we've been through the highest flows, we've kept this company going, we've been the ones being raised. I think, you know, if, if it was a few years, you know, seven or ten it would have so, been a really good thing. Because it's too early, because I it really ruined Jungle Boy. Oh yeah, it definitely exposed him, and he's definitely not but ready for that. that kind of, you saying know. that, it fucking helped uh, Sammy. It helped. Darby. Yeah, it definitely helped Darby though. St- uh, Mike's skills, no doubt, it definitely did. Mm-hmm. Uh, reaction to winning the bank match card, Alex. We're gonna go live next Saturday after the show, but overall, right now, it's looking like a pretty good show, to be honest. I thought it was this week. <laughs> he thought it was SummerSlam as well. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to mention that bit, but yeah. <laughs> I see Starks turning heel. Uh, I don't see that. He's not, not long yet. come back. Like, well, he's barely done anything after he turned face. True. That, why would he turn heel and join Bullet Club, though? They've been attacking him for weeks. That, that doesn't really make sense, does it? Yeah. I don't, like, I don't I see him turning heel. I don't see him turning heel for him. Nah, I see him. I don't see him turning heel for Frank. that. Either. Maybe late next year? Maybe, yeah. Like, if, if he's going to be with FTR and, and CM Punk, it's, he's going to, in my opinion, he's going to be the last one to turn heel. True. Like, I mean, if he point. does turn heel, it won't be with Bullet Club. Maybe he'll start his own faction or something. You know, like listen, I, yeah. I don't ever see them turning FTR heel. No, the I don't biggest, see FTR. The Punk's the biggest probably going to go heel by next year. I think we'll agree yeah. on that. But Oh, yeah. Well, he's going to go heel to go after MJF. Probably, yeah. Starks so think, very similar to LA Knight, so having Ricky heel both stand in the main event would be crazy. Uh, I, just, I don't see the reasoning, though. Like, why would he turn it's just, heel? It's just, it's just turning heel to get the reaction. Yeah, if it's just, then we're just going into WCW territory. Right? It's like, I mean, it's just like, like, oh my God, it's like, a reaction. It's like, yeah, but why? There's no follow-up. It's the, just real, the real reaction, you know, it's, oh, I've used this in all the time. It's like when a writer, when he writes a, like a mystery novel and like he leaves all these clues that's going to be the butler, but then because... 
the audience has been following that it's going to be the butler, he suddenly turns around and retcons everything to make it the maid. Like, it makes no sense. Yeah, just the shock, just for the sake just, of just it. Just shock that, no. Because, like, the, the... No. Like, Rick, nah. it's going to be... Because we want... I want... Oh, Ricky Starks. Oh, this is the best... This is the best little faction realistically got. True. Yeah, definitely. But we all know Punk and FTR and Starks are going to win. It's, I wouldn't be I, surprised if uh, Joe comes out afterwards and they continue yeah. the Joe and Punk thing. But like, oh, just I can't really see what the guns do in this match because they're as good as they are now. I think the stuff they're going to learn from both Punk and FTR in this match, the next time we see them, I think they're going to be at a whole other level. True. The only issue is though, I think one of the guns are going to take the pin out now. That's the only bad thing. I can see it being Juice. Maybe it could be Juice as well. I, it won't I, be Jay Wyatt. No, no I, I, I don't see it being one of the guns. Fine, they... he's not turning heel. I mean, Alex, we could be wrong and he could turn heel. It's just we we don't think he will right now, but you never know with Tony Khan. You never know. He, he, he had, what, two, what, two, three years of being heel? Yeah. and then and he's, he... he's barely, what, been in face, what, like six months? No? Yeah, about, not even that way. We had the MJF match. Was was that this year or last year now? It was this year, this wasn't year, it? Yeah, Early yeah. this year, yeah. Because it was Brian first, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so... Well, they had that thing with Jericho first, didn't they? Oh, Starks, yeah, that's that's what's the damage has been done. It was like Jericho feud, man. Fucking hell. Yeah. I'd, Maybe I'd Kenta. Mm. I, don't, uh, I don't see that happening. Yeah. Apparently that match is not happening. But yeah, um, let's talk about last week's show and then we'll get into the ratings as well. Because there's something to talk about with those ratings. <laughs> Obviously last week they started with a punk promo, didn't they? Which... You know, it yeah. wasn't as good as this return two years ago, but how could it have been? Because, you know, that was seven years away, wasn't it? This yeah, was nine in, months. in terms of, like, the numbers, the reaction, yeah. But, I mean, like, in terms of the actual promo, because of what he's been mentioning, I think it was one better than last, last his first one. You know True. I mean? But I think that's it's... because he's addressing stuff that we've not heard him address. He hasn't addressed. Yeah, not, not had the chance, really. He was like, yeah. the business of grown-ups, and, and he had the yeah. fuck the elite chant going, which is funny. <laughs> You know, and how, the line, how many lies? You know? Tell me, yeah, he said that a few times. Oh, what is it? The people who want an apology are softer than the wrestlers they like. Oh, no, that was I'm, really I'm good sorry one. that you're you're softer than the wrestlers you like. Yeah, <laughs> he's a these couple of counterfeit bucks. Oh, can we just talk about how the petty reaction from Dave Meltzer? Oh my God, yeah. I mean, did you hear what he said after this Wednesday? Apparently, someone left the taping and they're like oh my god i'm so disgruntled this is a time bomb punk's just gonna you know it's all gonna go wrong and it's like so dave who, who said that and even ftr and all that tweeting about like look at this great reaction we had backstage and you know everyone getting along and all this yeah but who said that like like who like the well, people, were, the, people were saying it was a young a jungle boy but i i, I don't know if it was or wasn't i don't because jungle, like, was jungle boy even there yeah jungle boy was there the elite wasn't remember because they taped the Backstage uh, segment, didn't they, the week before? So the elite wasn't at the building, so it wasn't them. I mean, it could have been Brandon Cutler so, so, or something. Wait, wait, Who so, fucking knows? So, so they, they, did they basically, someone was leaving the building and said, I've sold this gun all this ticket time. Does he mean like that could be the cameraman? It, it could have been the janitor? Dave didn't specify, he just said someone at Dynamite it, was Could it have been one of the audience members who don't like... It could have been, it could have been the guy who's serving fucking food, who knows? <laughs> you know what I mean? Could, could it have been the guy in the parking lot? It like, could have been anyone. That's the problem. We don't specify who. Could could could, could someone have said that in jest? They felt so good. Could it be a joke they were saying? Oh, yeah, the rating. Uh, the NXT did a good rating as well. Seth Rollins is on there. And he went up like nine hundred thousand. Uh, so. Seth Rollins. Uh, Seth Rollins. Yeah, but. Um, oh, sorry, oh yeah, he also had the freaking Rollins. or Franklin depends. Franklin. <laughs> he came out with a bag, didn't he? At first, I thought he had the muffins. He was going to continue <laughs> where he left off from last year. <laughs> But it was the belt. It didn't show us the belt, but he alluded to it. Because he See, said, this, this, um, is, this, this, "This is my problem with what's happening at the door. door." Is the fact that MJF take is accepted that challenge? Is he shouldn't have? It should have been left up. The guy should have come out like MJF doesn't show, and then cult personality plays, and then Punk comes out with the mic going, "Well, you know, I'm actually the real champ, so I'll face him." True. Yeah, they can still that. do that, like in another match, but maybe they yes, want to do it. I feel like this would have been the first time because. MJF is just adamant that he, he hates New Japan. Like he's, I think he generally yeah. doesn't like it. Well, I mean, MJF, I'm guessing MJF shows up, he tries walking out of the match, and Adam Cole's probably going to like throw him back in or something like that. I don't know. Well, does Adam Cole 
not costing the match, but helping actually win the match. He called, yeah, because Adam Cole's like, I, I want to beat you for the yeah, title. But by accident, and then they start like, coming at... It's like Team Hell No again. Oh, yeah, it could be. It could do something <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Jeff Hardy, like... <laughs> just, just the idea that... Oh, yeah, they wrote Jeff off TV because he's not allowed in Canada because of his, you know, charges. So that's why Jeff left the building. <laughs> Because they're in Canada for the next... Oh, yeah, ne Collision next week. It's not live. They're taping it on Thursday. What? Because next Saturday is Canada Day. <laughs> and they're in Canada. But also, next Saturday is Money in the Bank. So it's like, why not just show it on the Thursday then? Because I don't think many people are going to... I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with that. So they're in Canada on the Saturday, but they're taping it on the Thursday? That they no, can't... they're in Canada for the next month, I think. Because we're in Canada tomorrow for Forbidden Door, they're there for yeah. Wednesday, they're there Thursday. Right, so I don't understand why they need to tape it on a Thursday. They can't, they can't do anything on Saturday because it's Canada Day. They'd usually be live, wouldn't it, Collision yeah. Saturday. So well, why can't they do it live because it's Canada Day? Yeah, apparently you're not allowed to run a, a show on Canada Day. Why do you think people won't come because it's Canada Day? I don't know. One or the other. I, then do outside of... You, Oh my know, god, you're able, the, are you not able to book this? Oh. Exactly, you book this kind of the tour when it's like going to be a holiday on Saturday and you should be like, wait a minute, we have a live show on Saturday. Sure, Maybe we... like, surely if it's, a, if it's on a holiday on Saturday, that's the best time to do a live show. It's like, well, people, what are we going to do on Saturday? It's, it's, a, it's a Saturday, so I don't know why you're celebrating a, a public holiday on a Saturday on a weekend. You know, that makes no sense. I, I don't get it. You know, surely it'd be on a Monday or Friday, you know, bank, like we have bank holidays. I don't know. Mm. That's, that seems stupid. I don't... I'm, I don't, I don't get that. I, Tony's just. It's, maybe Tony it's... couldn't get an arena for Saturday. Like everyone else was booked up years in advance, because so, you know people had to be like, oh, you know, we'll, we'll we'll do our show on this Saturday. You know. Well, they why don't just be like maybe we'll just do next month Canada. We'll just you know go around America know. another month I, and then. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Jeff Hardy versus Punk in AW Collision in the future. I mean, they could go back to that feud. They did have the feud in WWE, but. It's if both men want to do it, really, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah. Well, he did just come and save them. True. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, back uh, to the uh, bag thing. We didn't see the belt, did we? But he, what is it? He's like, I didn't have the best dog collar match. I won the dog collar match. Was it, wasn't it? Oh, I'm not remembered because I was in the best dog collar match. I'll be remembered because I won. You won the, the dog, dog collar match, yeah. And he's like, until oh. someone pins me or submits me, I'm still the champion. Yeah. yeah. Just tell me when he's telling lies, though. That's what I want to know. Because he, True. he yeah. look, he deals. He doesn't deal in if buts and maybes. He deals in absolutes. <laughs> Maybe Tony will change it back to USA. What the the tour? I think it's a bit too late for that now, isn't it? Double week away. They can't be like, oh, you know. <laughs> Sorry about all these tickets you bought, but we're not coming. Yeah, they're good for next year. <laughs> and so then the next thing last week was um Luchasaurus beating Wardlow for the TNT title. Which was uh I can't remember that match. I think that was the it, it wasn't bad, but I mean Christian got involved at the end and I he think, hit I think Wardlow I think it's like one of the it wasn't the lowest point. The lowest point was later on, in my mind. But I think mm. it was a good match to start off. It wasn't terrible. The thing that soured me is always the Wardlow losing because it's like, what the fuck are you doing with him? Like, I, I just know. don't get it. To be honest, what really soured me was the fucking promo with fucking QT Marshall Powerhouse Souls afterwards. It, did. <laughs> it was literally yeah. just Hobbs saying the, the, the next chapter, the Book of Hobbs. Like, oh, you still do that Book of Hobbs thing? I wish the next chapter would be involving you. I'll get rid of QT Marshall, but I guess we're not up to that chapter yet. We've got to go yeah, through a few others first. <laughs> But yeah, Luchasaurus, TNT champion. Like we said before, we think Christian's going to say he's champion, like we talked about. I don't know what the fuck yeah. they do with Wardlow from here. Maybe turn him heel or something. I don't know. You're going to have to do something now. I, I, I don't know. He must have He must have pissed Tony off. He must, like, I don't get how else. Like, he's got everything. He's got the size. He can talk. Like, he's still young. You don't have any injuries, really. Like, what's wrong with Wardlow? <laughs> I don't know, like, what are you priming him up for? Like, what how is he going after next? So, like, what's his feud? Is he still got a few with each story? Is this, is this it? I know we once said, oh, it'd be nice to have, like, you know, a title hot the table for each other. And that is nice. But when it's this title that's constantly, no matter who's got it, it's been played hot potato, hot potato with. Mm. You know what I mean? This, this dates back since fucking Cody lost it. True. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. 
There was Cody Sammy lost and Scorpio Sky. Sky and no, Miro had it then, didn't he? You have to Miro had it a bit, yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I d it goes actually. I think it goes back to Scorpio Sky. Scorpio Sky was the issue. Maybe not to say Scorpio Sky was the issue. I mean, like no, it was the booking yeah, that it was booking was so that bad. It, and then... American Top Team as well. We had all that. Oh, well, shit you know, you well. had Thingy there. That was the best part. Where is he? Dan Lambert. Yeah. Dan Lambert. Well, he, he literally he said to Tony, "He's like, I think we've." You know, we're on the course. I'm gonna step back. He had the mindset to be like, you know, I don't want to overplay it. So he was like, "Fuck." I hope it. he comes back because that was fucking. That he, he was good. Alex, we're gonna talk about the ratings soon. We've got him pulled up for collision because they actually went up, which we'll talk about in a minute. But yeah, next match Andrade right, beat Buddy, which was a good match. Oh fucking! Because I got the ratings here, it went down like during the match. I'm like, how do people? Go, how were people losing that match? Like they must have left it at the start. I think it was bad. Because I know yeah, it went up at during the end, but that was like during Nero's section as well. But oh, uh, it was such a good match. It, it was just nice. I, I didn't know I would like Andrade as much as I did. Yeah, Andrade is good. I really did. And Matt, Bloody Matthews can wrestle. Where's Lucha Brothers and Pac? I have no idea where Pac is, but Lucha Brothers are out of age champions, aren't they? I think. Yeah, they have the best friends with backing up. I think he, um, was it on Rampage? Or was it Dynamite last week? Was it Dynamite this week? I can't. No, they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. They, they they helped Jeff Jarrett. Not Jeff Jarrett. Um, Matt Briscoe this week, didn't they? Oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the stupid fucking... Whatever the match it was called. <laughs> but but yeah. Buddy was selling the knee issues and the House of Black came out after the match, didn't they? And, you know, it seems like we're leading to a storyline there, like we said. What am I clicking on here? Uh, Mero beat Tony Nese. It was a bit too long, to be honest. It should have oh, been no, a squash. Oh, no, we had a Scorpio but... Sky video as well. Oh, that. yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. So Scorpio Sky's coming back to Ooh. Collision as well. I mean, he is decent. It was just the booking, wasn't it? It could probably do something with him. It just well, it was the fact he was with Ethan Page. And Ethan Page oh, yeah. Jesus shout. Christ, yeah. I don't... But I like his YouTube channel, Dylan. I like watching his YouTube videos. You can watch his YouTube <laughs> channel, Okay. <laughs> Jesus That's all people Christ. ever say when you say I don't like Ethan Page. Like, yeah, but his YouTube channel. It's like, okay, yeah. So what? Fucking hell. No, it doesn't translate necessarily. Fucking hell. But yeah, Mero won that. I'm interested to see where to go with Mero next. Like I said, I think he'll go after Orange Cassidy, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. But uh, Sky Blue and Willow beating Ruby and Tona. Which... This was fucking dull. Dull. Yeah. Sky Blue is from Chicago, so obviously the crowd were into her. But... Yeah, and her mum was there. Yeah, mum was there as well. Yeah. So like, they pointed that out. I'm like, okay. I don't like Will Nightingale. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Sky yeah. Blue, you know, she's, you know, I don't know much about her. You know, I like Ruby. Don't like Tony. But, oh, Tony, know. Tony's the worst for me, man. She just doesn't have any personality whatsoever. It's just, I just don't get it. I don't get the appeal. Nice ass, apparently. That's it. And Anna Jay's literal gimmick is that she has a nice ass in it, but... Is it? I, uh, I didn't yeah, she has a t-shirt, do not she, and all that. I know. I, I don't know about that. Like, I, I remember her, her like, her gimmick with, with that card was she was the queen slave because she took out Brandy. Which doesn't oh, make any yeah. sense because Brandy never referred to herself as a queen or anything. <laughs> I'm like, well, did, what, did you did you kill the queen or did, did you kill uh, Charlotte Flair? Like, who are you taking out to be called the queen slayer? Do you think Impact Wrestling might invade AW Collision? No, I, I'm going to say no, but I you never know. know. I mean, it could get Impact involved next year with Forbidden Door, but that's, that's what that's I want to What is this Forbidden Door? Is it just for New Japan? Like, what's it about? Like, is it just... I guess it is, really, isn't it? But, I mean, then again, like, I don't know the ratings for Impact, but I don't think they're doing that many viewership wise, are they? So... Well, they're doing enough to stay on TV, aren't they? Dylan always hating on Sky Blue and Liv Morgan. Well, you hate Liv Morgan. What? I, I, I like Liv Morgan, and I didn't see <laughs> anything about... I, I, I was saying that I didn't know anything about fucking Sky Blue. Yeah, you, you don't like I, Willow, like, neither do I. I mean, I the t-shirt makes me laugh. Nothing matters when she comes out with the t-shirt. It's like, nothing matters. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, okay, man. Tell her, but after that, we had the Acclaim promo saying they still want the trio's titles, which I'm hoping they win it all in, because that would be a good moment to see live. I could see them dragging it out for another two months, maybe. Mm -hmm. Just Sorry. depends. What, what are we talking about? The mind. Acclaim's still going after trio's titles. Oh, right. Sorry, my mind went somewhere else. I wasn't even listening. <laughs> yeah, no. no like, like, we were talking about that before. But... Did you see the segment? I, I watched a clip on there from Rampage. With the acclaim. Oh, so who came it. out? 
I love who came out with it. some woman talking about Nemo. It's like, oh, we'd make a great couple. We'd be, we'd be cute. We'd make good babies. He's like, the whole crowd are like, oh my god, oh my god, what is she doing? He's like, you don't know. I, I'm, well, I, I think Bob was just gay. Yeah, and then the crowd starts chanting it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I think this chat like Anthony, Anthony, or like Bowens or someone like that. They just chant his name. I want to see, I, I do want to see that segment in its full set because of like, oh, he claimed. It pissed me off because why did he claim? It was like, relegator rampage. Like, give him a collision. True. Well, they were last week. I don't know oh. I was saying the promo. Like, but... I know the viewers went down during that segment, but to be fair, this start off with Jeff Jarrett promo. True. Yeah. He's always talk awful stuff about them with suing Dylan for insult. <laughs> you getting sued, Dylan? I, I, I don't think I can get sued for that, but okay, champ. Oh, fuck it. CM Punk suing one of these dirt sheet writers that came out today. Well, you know, I think he should fucking sue Dave Meltzer. Maybe, but this guy was literally he... calling him a uh, pedophile, so he has right to sue him. <laughs> oh, was he using the, uh, the Elon Musk defense? No, he was saying all I did was tweet out an image, that photo of a t-shirt that said the CM stood for child molester. <laughs> and he tweeted it out and he's like, oh, I'm not saying he isn't or he isn't. I was just sharing the tweet. And it's like, okay. <laughs> but you're a dirt sheet writer and you know, people take what you say as, you know. I guess, yeah. And that's something that fucking uh, Elon Musk did like years ago with some guys. Like, oh, he's pretty, like, he, they try, he try to get the kids out of that, out of that, out of that cave. And he's like, oh, I've got this like one man submarine and we could go in and get it. And then the guy's like, no, we've, we've got it. So he's like, it's a pedophile. My lawyer going to be Tony Khan. Good luck with that. I don't think Tony could be a lawyer for anyone. He'll just get Mega Megan, whatever her name is to do. <laughs> Mega, Megan, Mariah, Millie, I don't know. <laughs> Kids with an M, ends with a shut up. And that leads us to the main event of last week, Punk and FTR beating Joe, Jason, Juice. We had the tease of Joe versus Punk. Oh my long, though. God, that was great. Oh, and then, oh what was it? Like, did Joe sl- chop him? Yeah, and it's like that one fucking hurt or something like that. Like, was that, was that him? Because I don't think Punk would have shouted that out really. Because he shouted that out really loud as if he wanted it to be heard. Yeah, he was, he was complaining now. Not about Punk. Someone was complaining about someone else being aggressive, I think. Or someone's chops hurting. It was something like that. I think Punk was alluding to that. Like, someone was complaining, <laughs> like, oh, this guy chops too hard or something like that. So It must be someone complaining about Joe <laughs> That was a great match, it really was. It was good to see FTR, good to see Joe. Joe didn't really... Joe didn't gel well, in my opinion, with... Uh, well, he's not a tag team guy, yeah, is he? He's, that's what I'm saying, but he, didn't, he didn't gel well with those two, because I think it was different style. But, yeah. like... Oh, what a, it was a, what a way to end the show, though. Cause just the minute those two got in the ring, me and you just like, oh, what? We were ready. I just hope we have to wait too long for the one-on-one match, because... Come on, it's right there for Tony to do. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be selfish. I wouldn't all in. Same, I but I think you called it before. If they're both in the same bracket on the tournament, it's probably going to be in the next few weeks, isn't it? Probably collision next week or the week after yeah, or but something like that. I'm hoping that then that, that will lead into a big matchup. All in. All in. The way it's going, I think it's going to be MJF and Punk, though, isn't it? Which is probably good to see more. live. Bidden War 2024 has to be Bidden War. Maybe. I mean, he could always come back to it. I mean, I'm not saying Punk cast. I'm, I think MGF should win if that match does happen. That leads to Punk maybe turning heel. And then he comes back if... after MGF at the end. Too early for Punk to be heel. Too, too early for Punk to be heel. He's the biggest, baby. He's the biggest baby face he's got. Yeah, well, let, let's lead into the ratings because they surprised me. What I, so they started off at, with Punk's promo. It was 860,000, wasn't it? Yeah. And then from there, what? They only dropped 40,000, didn't they, for the next match? Yeah. Which isn't too bad. And then it, like, they went down by another 50, uh, 55,000 with the Andrade and Bully Moons. I think people were hearing how good it was, clearly, and with Miro. Yeah, so and it, then they tuned back 62. in. But so, then obviously after that, it was the Miro and Tony yeah, so, Nese match. So by the end of like that match and uh, the Miro match, we were at uh, 835,000. Yeah. And then from there, it was the women's match, which, which went down to tw- went down 22. Yeah, which Nothing didn't bad. too much. I mean, with the elite drop of a couple of weeks, so that was 200,000. That's a big fucking drop. That's that. big yeah, but then it's like, then it, and then it, well, it dropped down to two. So that leads us into the Jeff Jarrett promo and the acclaimed Daddy Asset. Yeah, which is 756,000. Yeah. Uh, so that's a drop of 57,000. So that, that's, that's a, it's a noticeable drop. A, yeah, noticeable drop. Yeah. 
yeah. But it starts picking up, doesn't it? Because obviously the main event starts, it goes up to 823,000. Yeah, so it goes up by 67. All right, so they, and then they, it goes up again to 902,000. So they, they, so what they've done is they've made up everything that they've lost throughout the night and more from the beginning. Yeah. Which is a good story because if you look at Dynamite ratings all the time, like we just said, the Elite match of the week, 200,000 people tuned out. Well, yeah, I'm this, just, it just, grows for the end. It doesn't drop, it grows, which I'm, is the way it should I'm be. I'm literally looking at last week's, not last week's, so this week's, I mean, like, um, the 14th Dynamite the 14th, rating. The yeah. Right. They start off with 90, uh, 119,000. No, 918. Yeah, 918,000. right? And they end at 900, uh, 699. But it's, it's a constant decline. Yeah, else. there's no big uh, raise at the end. You know me? Like like it, it at the end down. of the Adam Cole and MJF match, it goes down to 88,000. Then it goes to... Well, actually, no, it jumped back up a bit by another 1,000 to uh, 890. Then it goes back down to 865. Then down to 857. Then down to 762. 745 like that, and then it ends on 699. By 100,000, by the way. Yeah. Like, that is... Which is fucking hell. <laughs> and, that's, and that's the elite versus the combat club that they're ending on. You know what which, I mean? Like they're, it's they're just crazy, because that, that should be your biggest draw, shouldn't it? At the end, you, you know, all these guys coming out. Well, clearly, that, you, if, you, if, you, if you look at the breakdown that we just said before with Collision, they, they were up. Yeah, they were up. Exactly, they were up. Not they down. were up twice. The beginning of the match and during the end. And you know, Tony, obviously, as soon as his ratings come out, he's looking at him. So he's clearly saw the Elite lost 200,000, where Punk has gained, what, 150,000? Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. But still, you can see the massive drop in there. And then people always like, oh, the Elite are draws, Punk's like this and that. It's like, look at the numbers. The numbers don't lie. As Scott Steiner would say, the numbers don't you're lie. Right. <laughs> we can even look at this week, right? The Hardys versus the Guns and the CM Punk surprise appearance automatically starting off at 9. Nine three two, all yeah. right. Already there, and then you had the Matt Briscoe and Jeff Jarrett uh, BC combat. Which, that was the highlight. Was nine hundred and seventy six thousand, the biggest right. in a night. But you could also argue that was a lot of viewers from the previous segment with Punk. Exactly, a hundred percent. But not only that, I think a lot of people are very invested in Matt Briscoe. True. Yeah. yeah. More than anything. All right. They had the Jericho music in Sammy Guevara match, which drops down like what fifty thousand, which is usually okay. That's usually Jericho. It was a good match. But then it went up, though. It went up because of... Um, oh, oh, yeah, because of it, the elite Eddie Kingston promo. No, 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 not that. Um, that was the end of the Jericho match. But also oh, was, oh yeah, Adam Cole well. and MJ, yeah, Adam Cole and MJF was the next segment, wasn't it? Yeah, so they, and they went down by 3,000 so. But and after that, that, that the, the, the Cassidy, Cassidy match, match as well. 130,000 drop. No, that was 3,000 drop. No. No, I've got here the MJF. Oh, oh no, I mean the off. end of the match. The end, the end, the end, yeah, end, the end of the match, match is a big drop, yeah. yeah. So people either tuned out before the end or they were like, yeah. I don't want to and watch then people it. Had, and then you have Will Ospreay and Dan Callis segment, which is good, I like that. Yeah, and uh, the women's had, match as well. And you had the Will uh, Nightingale. Oh, the video, stuff, yeah. Which is stupid. Chris Statler manager was okay. You know, I'm not really fussed about Tyler Valkyrie, whatever. And then, uh, True. But then they ended on 818,000. Yeah, and but they were up by fourteen. They didn't recover. No. They they didn't recover. And it I'm started it's off. And it started off. Sound crazy. With Jericho. Let's be honest. Yeah. True. Yeah. Because they they Alex, get a, a I don't, strong start. I don't see. I don't see Seth Rollins going to AW next year, mate. I don't see that happening. <laughs> Anyone who thinks like Seth or Roman are leaving WWE, they they just do not understand. No, how it's important. not even just a money thing either, is it? It's more no, they, than just money. It, they, they don't understand how important Triple H is to them. Like they, you know what I mean? Not only that, but like Roman is like made, and well, he's, he's coming to the end. I think of his career realistically. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean full time. I mean he's not even full time anymore. But he could always still like a few times a year. You could do that for quite a while still. Yeah, right? I don't like, really you know... think he's that old to be doing that though, is it? He's still... No, but it's just in his position he is. He's like, you know, he doesn't have to wrestle every week, does he? I know. You know. Well, that's the thing. Like, like maybe, maybe we'll get to a point where he does come back full time. Maybe maybe less is more, if that's why we still like him. Sure. Sort of like the same thing with MGF, less is more. 
But I feel like it's not just the money thing. It's like the position and the way the ball. Like obviously, Roman's the top guy, but even Seth, like he's got the world heavyweight. He's been treated good. It's like he's been like jobbed out every week or anything like that. Yeah. Like, like if you compare you... someone like Ricochet, I can see Ricochet leaving. Like if you go down to that level, like someone yeah. who doesn't get used as much, then maybe. You, I think a lot of people misunderstand is like the relationship that Triple H has formed with these guys that he's built up. Yeah. All the way back to FCW NXT. See, I I would have I I say this now. If 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 Triple H would have had that same sort of relationship he had with Seth and with Roman, that he was, with them with D, I don't think Moxley would have changed over. I think. Term, yeah. You know what I mean? And and, but and also I, we don't know. Maybe Triple H was in the behind like Dean's book, and maybe it was just Vince because remember Vince was still in charge back then, so maybe it was. Yeah, you know... but like it's one of those things. Where, like me, I, from like listening to his book and all that, it seemed like the only interact. Dean didn't have much. John didn't have much interaction with um, Vince. It was always not with not with Vince with Triple H, but he always had interactions. Like Vince was the guy he went to because Vince was the boss. Yeah, but Vince saw how good he was at the funny thing, and he just always, you know. Yeah, which did, he was good was, at it, but there's a certain limit as well. Yeah, there's a certain limit where he was pushing it to the point where, like, you know, the whole like injecting him was stupid. But like when he was like grabbing the car, you know, and going through the subway to come into the uh, arena, like that was funny. But like. It was a part of his character, like he, you know, that was something crazy that you know Dean Ambrose would do. We have to do something sure. back here. You see Tony Khan making some kind of announcement this Wednesday. He's gonna have to do summer. He does it every week. <laughs> I don't know what they say. Maybe he just announced CM Punk's gonna be on there again, and then he are on it because clearly CM Punk's bringing in some ratings. Shotzi leaving. Yeah, I can see Shotzi leaving as well. She's another person who doesn't really get pushed that much. But the level of Roman and Seth, people like that are never gonna leave, really. Yeah. So like this week's. Dynamite it ended on 80, 818 compared yeah. to last week where it was there's no comparison like the, no. I guess, guess she wasn't on there the elite no and when they were on there it dropped 200,000 people which is just fucking <laughs> crazy 200,000 that's like a quarter of your audience I, 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 I'm I, looking at the same figures Tony is you're looking at the same figures Tony yeah. is how are you not coming to the same conclusion exactly Exactly. Like, what are you reading into this? Like, I, I, it's exactly. clear the elite aren't what you think they are. No, they're clearly not. And even if they were, they're not that, at that point anymore. It's been three years, the effects worn off, I guess. Were no, they ever at that point? Like, where were they before this? They, like, what was it? They were never in WWE, but they were in. Um... Well, there's no way to tell. It's, it was in New Japan. There was no TV ratings for New Japan. ROH wasn't on TV either, I don't think. Yeah, but like they were in um, Impact, weren't they? Yeah, but when it was in, they're called Generation Me, they were just a jobber team. They were just, you know, they weren't yeah. anything special. Then they were never anything special, then clearly. If you... No, but I mean, they, they were, I mean, I don't like them, but they were over in New Japan, weren't they? They were like the Bullet Club and, you know, getting. Were they over, or was it because they were with that over group? It could have been because they were with the group. It could have been that as well. Like, yeah. it's, it's the same sort of a feel that, yeah, that people have, like, you know. Moxley and Brian are over. Them two together are over. The Blackpool Combat Club are it kind of over. So you put fucking uh, useless Claudio and useless in into yeah. that. <laughs> and you, it, you, you expect know, them to get over, over as well. You know but I mean? that doesn't work. Like that. Oh, use, I, I, useless bleed bled once, now he's over. That I doesn't work like that. I, can't, I completely agree with, Ke- with Eddie Kingston. Would, would, oh. why, why would Moxley not back his boy Kingston. Like, why, well, why I'm would... hoping. I mean, we'll talk about more about next week, but I'm hoping it leads to Moxley leaving the Blackpool Combat Club. Hopefully. Why did he keep calling themselves that? Regal's not there anymore. No, Regal's None not there anymore. Back to. <laughs> None of them are from the UK. Exactly. It was also a stupid name to begin with. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a stupid name. Like BCC, it sounds like a fucking thing I would find on the internet. Uh, site that it's also so close to BBC as well, isn't it? Yeah, like the BBC TV station and all that. So. It, it, <laughs> it's just, I would have either Moxley leave or you have Kingston join, but he gets rid of Claudio because Claudio would, is the no, guy I'd he hates. Have Moxley it, so. leave, I'd have Moxley leave. Yeah, that would work too. I'd have Moxley leave, and then we'd have him feud with Brian. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. You know what I mean? But I'd also have Moxley. Mm-hmm. Take a minute and realize that his wrestling isn't that great at the moment. Like, yeah, I get your gimmick is I'm the toughest guy. I will take a beat and I will stand. But Stella, 
Yeah. Sell I, that, I mean, he hasn't that you've been in a hurt. few weeks, but he did blade way too much in the yeah, past no. few months. When someone punches you, it's clearly twice your size. Go down. Me, like, act like you've just been hit. I'm just, you all throw a fucking punch. I'm <laughs> sick of seeing your fucking wrist, your, your forearms hit each other. Like, I, I can see tell. budget cuts happening in early July. Do you mean with WWE? Because I don't think AEW really have any budget cuts there. You think you can count on one hand the amount of people told he's fired, really? And even fire him, just lets the contract expire. You know, it's hard to him, does it? Yeah, he just ignores them. <laughs> just ignores them. It's just lets the, lets the problem go away. Does he even send Mega after them? <laughs> like, you think he'd send something like, oh. Seamus oh, could be leaving WWE too. Uh, Seamus might retire, but he's not going to leave. Like, he's alive for WWE. I don't see Seamus going yeah, anywhere it's, else. It's, there's so many things you forget the relationship that was built between them and Triple H. True. And also, you got to remember, most of them, like, we, we grew up watching WWE. There was no AEW back then. So, most of them, that's their lifelong dream, isn't it? To work yeah. for WWE. So, you know. Yeah, they do have budget cuts all the time. And people jump on them. I mean, sometimes you have fired people you shouldn't, like Samoa Joe being an example, William Regal. Like, you shouldn't fire them type of people. But businesses all the time cut people, don't they? I mean, you know, it's part of it. You hire people, you fire people, you know. It's just the way it works, really. I, I really wish they would have budget cuts at WWE. Not the AEW. The AEW, yeah, because there's fucking quite a few people you could get rid of. Well, to be honest, I wish they sort their fucking audio issues. Oh yeah, that's. I, I don't swear, care. They dynamite, still haven't. That dynamite sounded like shit this week, and that was on TV. Not even just I, the videos as well. Like, was it last week with Christian's promo or the week before when, like, the first yeah. thirty seconds there's no audio for it at all, and it's like, the how are you on? three years into this having so many audio issues? Right? How was the best time you had when you were set up at Daily's place throughout the pandemic? Can you just tell me this, Tony? Like, how? how I'm guessing because they had more time to set up in Daly's place because it was, you know, no one else was using the arena, was there? So, so they left everything. Yeah, but like, you'd, you'd hire professionals. They'd know how to set this thing up no matter where they are. True. Okay. Yeah, exactly. But... Oh, we've seen a new selling point for the uh, AW game that they're all hyping up. Oh, you can do the... the fusion dance. <laughs> £50, please. You can do the fusion dance. <laughs> Dylan's going to buy his copy right now. He's going to go pre-order it. <laughs> what? Yeah, you can do the fusion dance as a taunt or whatever. And, and that's a selling point. Yeah, that's a selling point, apparently. Did, did they get the rights to that? Because I'm pretty sure that, that has to be copyrighted in some sense. Well, they haven't of the official channels, haven't it? It's been people who have got the game early. But like, look what you can do. Oh, this is so great. You should buy the game. <laughs> I don't like Dragon Ball Z as much as the next fucking. I fucking love Dragon Ball Z. Got all that shit I got there, but I mean, I'm gonna buy a fifty pound game just to do a tour. I'll just go play Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh yeah, man, that game's gonna be something else, I'm telling you. It looks like shit. I know it looks so bad. It somehow every time I see clips from it, it gets worse. Yeah. My How? main problem was the price. Like, if you're charging twenty pound or twenty five quid, then sure, or whatever. If you're charging no, fifty pound, no. No, not even that. It's a game in 2023 playing on modern day hardware. And it looks like shit. It does look like shit. And people say, obviously, I agree, graphics don't always matter. But when you're charging that much for a game and it looks like that, it's like, come on now. (laughs) Like, comparing something like, what, The Last of Us to to, to Zelda. Like, graphics, they're totally different. But they, they look really nice. True. And it looked like that's games different, isn't it? Like the Zelda's not motion captured, it's not supposed yeah, to be like real saying, life, like, is it? Like there's, there's, there's different types of really good graphics, you know what I mean? There's like really good hyper realistic one with motion capture, and isn't just that art style really looking good. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah, what true. Whereas this just looks like shit from two thousand and two. Yeah, but people like, oh, I know they want to be the old days, it reminds me of PS1. Oh my god, then fucking buy a PS1, but fucking exactly. emulate it. But it'll probably be cheaper instead of paying £50 for one fucking game. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, and, and I'm sorry, right? I've gone back and played a lot of old games, and some of them are really, really great. But the controls are like shit. Yeah. All right, and especially wrestling games. There are, on my hand, I can count on one hand wrestling games that I you could go back to and are still really good. The rest, they're not. They're not. True. Nostalgia is a big play in most of it. You can say, oh, here comes the pain. It's really good. I I bet you you go back to it now, you'd be like, it's not as good as I remember. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, to me, it's it's most of the the, the Raw vs. SmackDown games that I remember playing. Those were the ones. 
Yeah. Well, people have been like, oh, they want, don't want simulation anymore. They want the arcade type feel, which is fair enough. But like, again, it just goes back to the price for me. It's like you're charging too much for this. It, it's going to be on discount within a week or two anyway. Arcade feel? Do you mean like Street Fighter and stuff like that? Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's, that's, what not, want. that's not wrestling, though. I know, exactly. But, you know. That's a fighting game. Did they, uh, then just make a fighting game with wrestlers in it, okay? Don't. You know, wrestling games are their own genre of video games in my opinion I, you know that's how yeah. i feel like that you know they have a lot of like you know rpgs or like mechanical evidence you know what i mean but you want to just have two guys doing street fights they just create that yeah i agree they ain't gonna look good because it how does that how, how does that work in a wrestling environment where you've got to have pinfalls submissions then it's your, your special um variety so matches just or whatever. It works. i'm not just that how long until you get bored of it like they keep trying to sell these mini games. It's like you'll probably play them once or twice, and then that's it. Like you're not gonna, you know. No, I, I've 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 not bought a fighting game in four or five years, and I've realized a I'm not good at them, <laughs> and b I clearly don't like them because if I'm not good at them, I'm not getting better at them. But I don't like them. I mean, if right. I don't like them, I'm not trying to get better. I clearly don't like them, so I don't play them. But yeah, anyway, we've ranted enough. Anything else you want to talk about, or should we end it there? I don't know. I'm just. <sighs> Fusion dance. I know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, are we going to talk about Forbidden Door on Monday? I guess I might just change, save it for Wednesday. It depends what happens. Yeah, I, I don't care enough. We're only watching. Yeah. We're only watching like two, three two matches. matches. Yeah, whatever. No, yeah. three because I want to see the. I want to watch Osprey, Punk, and oh, Brian. Brian. Yeah. Yeah. No one so else. three matches. Three matches. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we'll end it. Uh, make oh, sure you MJF, like and subscribe. MJF, MJF. Oh, four. MJF as well. Yeah, four. Oh, okay, we got four matches. <laughs> make sure you like and subscribe if you're new. Check out the social links down below. Until Wednesday.